Life has been rather flat for the last couple of months under lockdown, combined with some high levels of anxiety over how to cope uh, for some of you. And even now, as we start moving back to normal life, uh, everything is still uh, rather restricted. Now, the answer to the question, how can we have a real sense of purpose and meaning in our life? Uh, how, do, how do we create a fulfilled life? Well, it's actually the same uh, whether we are in lockdown, just emerging from lockdown, uh, or whether in fact we are in normal life, whatever that is going to end up as. And if we have a, a, a purpose, if we have a, a real sense of meaning in our life, then it's actually much easier to deal with life's crises when they hit us. Right at the heart of a sense of fulfilment in our lives is being involved in something we think is worthwhile. Having a sense that we spend our time with that which is meaningful. And Jesus puts this very powerfully. This is from the Gospel of Luke. Then Jesus said to them all, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very self? Take up your cross and follow Jesus. OK, let's see if we can get the meaning out of that in uh, practical terms that can be applied. OK, well, let's start losing some of that uh, religious language. Jesus here is calling us to put ourselves out there and pick up the heaviest load that, that we can manage and carry it. Still, of course, highly symbolic language. So let's move closer to the very simple and practical. The most deeply satisfying life is gained through challenge and responsibility. So this is about what? Find something to do, find something really worthwhile. It's got to be challenging, but it's got to be realistically challenging. And then give it your best and give it your sustained best. So really the start of the process is to ask yourself the question, what can I do which will be a challenge for me? Now, the answer will change as, as you change. It will depend on how old you are, what your life circumstances are. An 18 year old student, a 40 year old family man and a 63 year old who's just retired will all have to work this out differently. We'll all have to work it out very personally for yourself. And the answer is going to be very different for each one of you. But the idea is exactly the same and it must be focused on where each one of us is now. If you're really a, a bit lost in a rut, then actually a challenge could be something apparently trivial, um, like committing yourself to clearing up after each meal and do the washing up, uh, put everything away. How about you know, make your bed in the morning, tidy your room and keep it tidy? It might be a start doing some exercise, get yourself into a better physical shape. Maybe commit yourself to spend time with the children. Commit yourself to doing your job well. And if when you think about that, you decide actually you really just can't face that, then maybe your commitment should be to uh, doing whatever's required to get yourself into a job uh, where you can commit yourself to doing it really well. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, learn to cook, play a musical instrument, uh, volunteer with an organisation that helps people. It really doesn't matter what it is, as long as it falls into the category of worthwhile, a challenge and realistic. Jesus' call is to pick up the heaviest load you can manage and carry it. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. That is the route to a sense of meaning and purpose in life. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your call to follow Jesus, to take up our cross, to take the challenge to live as Jesus did, with his radical love for others, 
his willingness to love the outcasts from society, to love even enemies, lead us, Lord, to find the challenge appropriate to each one of us, which will lead us to the fullness of life promised by Jesus to those who follow him. Amen.